Hey Adam, it's David Hill with TigerNet.com. Is there been a little different feel with this wide receivers group now that most of the guys are, are healthy in this fall camp than it's been maybe the past couple of last fall and last spring? Uh, yeah, it's just been a great feel. Uh, just us going out there and being competitive with each other and just making each other better. Also, us going to get some incredibly good corners out there every single day. You know, just we just know we're pushing each other. And uh, I feel like every day we go out there, we're playing uh, the best corners and the best team in the nation. So I feel like that's making us come together stronger. And uh, just thankfully, thankfully, me and Bo being healthy because uh, we weren't there during the spring, just us being able to bring some kind of leadership and just, you know, go out there and set the standard. It, um, it, it's really a, a very helpful for our entire room and Coach Grisham himself. RJ Mickens, thank the offense for being so good. You know, during August, apparently you guys have had some great battles. Does one day, one scrimmage, one play kind of stand out to you that shows how much the two units are, you know, kind of equal? Uh, yeah, um, last scrimmage, Coach Sweeney was just like, uh, our, maybe it was our first scrimmage, Coach Sweeney was just saying how both sides were very competitive, you know, how both sides made plays, and it just wasn't like a lopsided scrimmage. So, I mean, just, you know, I, I attest that to our coaching staff and us going out there and putting the work in every day. And I just appreciate the defense coming out there with the same mindset as us uh, every single day and getting after us like they would any other team. Cliff Kennedy, Clemson Sports Media. Um, how's the competition between you and Cole uh, made you a better receiver? Uh, you know, just Cole going out there and him being a beast that he is, just uh, me wanting to elevate my game every single day just to, uh, you know, continue to set the standard that it is out there every single day. And, you know, just us being able to go out there and, you know, just I wouldn't say it's a competition, just having a friendship that we want to make each other better and just continue and uh, just fight, fight for each other and fight for the team. You know, we, we're going to be try to be the best guys and, and be, best people out there and just continue to go out there and play and make plays for the team and, you know, uh, just do it all with love at that, at that too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I was 100% uh, physically, you know, the mental aspect of it, just not being able to go out there and practice with the team for an entire fall camp. I'm forever thankful to be out there and go out there in the heat and run around a little bit just with the team. And being able to gel with the quarterback at that, uh, I feel like, you know, throwing the brace to the side and not having that on my leg has just been able to be, be make me get back up to my top speeds and get in and out of my break faster. Uh, so I feel like, you know, just not having that brace on my leg has really helped me out a lot. And, you know, just going out there and being able to play free. And I feel like Coach Riley has brought that mindset to the offense where we can go out there and really play free and just, you know, do our thing like we're back in high school and just go out there and make plays like the ballers that we are. Uh, yeah, I just feel like me and, me and Kay just are kind of on the same wavelengths. I mean, it's been like that ever since we got in here. Uh, like I said last year, we were we were on the second team for really a lot, so he threw, he threw me a lot of passes, especially in the spring and um, even coming back during the season when we would have to go against the ones uh, when we were on the twos. So uh, I just feel like, you know, him being my, my roommate has been uh, the, probably – one of the best decisions ever since I got to college because he brings me up every single day. He's going to be able to pick me up and also hold me accountable at the same time. So, yeah, I just feel like every single day, we, you know, we just come out there and we're on the same wavelength. And just the connection between us is just something that I'll forever cherish. Your brother obviously is on the team now. Mm -hmm. too. Uh, yeah, so he joined us um, in summer one this year, this year, and he just uh, wanted a new experience coming from Coastal Carolina. Uh, they had a great run down there when he was on the team, a couple, uh, couple bowl wins and a uh, Sun Belt win. So he just came down here and wanted a new experience. And I, back like we were in high school in 2018, that was the last time we played together. And I've always looked up to my brother as somebody that I wanted to play with. And just having him on the team and going lining up against him every single day just brings a smile to my face and my mind every every time I see him out there in that orange jersey. So uh, I thank Coach Sweeney for all he's done for me and my family. 
and you know just continue to go out there and have fun with him. Adam Larry Williams, TigerIllustrated.com. What do you think this this offense's identity is going to be? Uh, this offense's identity is probably just going to be really fast. We've got a really lot of a lot of fast guys. Uh, you know, uh, this summer we we did a lot of speed work, and I feel like Coach Swinney has always well has said a couple of times that this is one of the fastest teams he's had in the last couple of years. And just having some guys get up to 20, 20 miles per hour, multiple guys. I want to say it was above ten. So just us going out there and playing fast and just running by people and just being explosive, you know, that's that's all you can ask for. And Coach Riley bringing that, like I said, that mindset of just going out there and balling, playing free within the confines of the offense. And uh, he just brings plays that are just going to get you down the field and just make, go out there and let you play. At what point in camp did you go, okay, I think this offense has a chance to be pretty good? At what point did you go, hey, I think we got something here? Uh, I don't even – I don't even think it started like this fall camp when the when we did our first scrimmage in the spring and me and Bo weren't playing and we were just going out there moving the ball up and down the field without without me and Bo and Kay just throwing the ball around and him being comfortable within the offense like he had been in high school. I, I just was really amazed by the, the offensive guru that Coach Riley is, and I, I've been always been amazed by it. And I just, like I said, at Myrtle Beach High School, I played in air raid, so I'm just a fan of the air raid offense. And just going out there and slinging the ball around and also having two great backs is going, is going to have a, make a big impact on our, our offense too. So uh, just being thankful for Phil and, and Ship, just going out there and pounding the rock when we need to. Does it make it easier to just be on one side of the field and not constantly having to shift? Uh, yeah, I mean it does make it easier, you know. But you got you got to know both sides concepts of the of the uh, football field. So, um, like I say, just you know, just knowing the playbook and just investing in it. And I feel like you've seen it work at TCU. So uh, I feel like why why won't it work here if we invest in the playbook and we just go out there and execute it on on game day? What strikes you about Tyler Brown based on what you've seen out of him so far? Uh, Tyler Bond, he's just a really fast guy. He can get up and down the field. He can really just move. And I just, just love the way he uh, brings a good mindset to the uh, room. Uh, our, our wide receiver room is just very positive. And, you know, every time you go in there, you're going to crack a smile within within a couple of seconds. So uh, I just like the mindset that he brings. And just his speed is incredible. And, you know, he's just going to be able to help us out a lot in the return game. And also on offense, you just got to get the ball in his hands and he's going to make something happen. When you were saying, you know, that there's a lot of speed, how different is the tempo than, than what it was last year? Uh, I, I I think the tempo. We've also incorporated some periods of tempo just within going going good on good, and um, I, I just feel like that's gonna help us out a lot. Just getting our plays in, and uh, also Coach Riley, he he knows the plays that he has in mind, so he's gonna spit them out as fast as he can, just getting lined up and going. So uh, I'm, I really enjoy him just calling the plays and, you know, just not having it uh, kind of standardized, the set, set amount of plays that you can call when you're going tempo. And he's just going – he knows what he wants in his head and he knows it doesn't matter what defense it is. He's going to call his plays and we're going to run them and we're going to execute them and we're going to move the ball up and down the field. I think last year around 230, this year 224. Was that intentional? Um, I mean, no, nah, I mean, it's just me moving around, having fun, just being able to move around a little bit more this summer. Uh, it's not, it's not much I really can lose, but uh, I just try to try to stay active and just try to stay around that 225 mark, so I can go out there and execute even when it's on days like it's 100 degrees outside. You know, just not trying to lose as much weight. How, how do you think you and the receivers as a whole have done on the contested 50-50 balls and so forth? Uh, just going up there and making plays. I feel like we've done a really good job, actually. You know, uh, they they call it holding your line. And Coach Riley says, you know, 50-50 plays can be turned into 80-20. If you hold your line, you can catch the ball over your shoulder a lot. So uh, we've just been working on that. And that's one thing I've been working on, just holding the line. And if y'all don't know what the line is, if you go out to practice, you can see the orange line. And just trying to stay on that once you run your fade route so you can catch the ball over your outside shoulder as the quarterback throws it. So uh, we've just been holding the line, and the quarterback's doing, doing a good job of getting the ball in the air early and just get your eyes to the sky and track the ball and come down with it. So that's all it really takes. Does it feel like there's a big, much bigger emphasis on middle of the field stuff, and that might allow free up you guys on the outside to, to have better opportunities? Uh, 
I don't really feel like it's like much of a bigger emphasis. Uh, but you know, we just I feel like we we come across the middle a little a little bit more now and then the last offense. But I, I wouldn't say much more. But you know, like I said earlier, I mean, we got a we got a pretty big uh, factor in the middle of the field with Will Shipley and Phil Moffa that they're gonna have to they're gonna have to uh, worry about when we get out go out there as offense. So. Uh, you know, that's going to help free up me, Bo, Cole, and Antonio, I mean, all the time, and, all, and also all our other receivers that we have. You obviously don't play really well with them. Just what kind of things are you seeing in whether it's as a quarterback or, you know, now as it takes on the leadership and starting to make it? Mm, I wouldn't say any changes. Uh, I mean, he, he's, he's been uh, acting like he's been, day, he's been the starter day one. So, uh, he just goes in there and is about his business, and he he's gonna do what he needs to get done that to make the team the best team that he is. And uh, I feel like he's just it's not like he has to change, but he just has to go out there and we gotta execute. We gotta just be on the same page at all times. Got time for about two more. It's just a question about Kate. I saw you posted a, a Twitter video of Kate was taking his light, putting it right in the face while you were shooting. It seems kind of long. How often does it do? Uh, uh, he's just he's just one of those guys that when he comes in the room he's just gonna light up the room. So uh, you know I was streaming just playing around and just happened to capture it on on film that moment. But uh, you know you know that's why that's why I enjoy living with him because he's gonna he's gonna be the one that's always wanting to be in the living room playing around just being that that goofball of a guy that he is and you know and then when it comes down to business and on the field he's gonna be the, take that business mentality and um, be the leader that he is. So. I just, he's just an incredible guy, and I'm excited to have him in my life. I'm incredibly thankful for him. Uh, yeah, he he would just always be try to be that encouragement when I would come home because you know some days are really long when you're up here at the facility rehabbing and things like that, and you know just coming home to a smile is is different than coming home to somebody that's just having negative energy. So I'm just thankful that he, he's been that guy for me to bring, uh, bring the light into my world every single day.